Elaine here, countryhomeandheart.net is my website. And today I am still getting ready for my children to come down for their visit. They should be here, and uh, oh, I'd say about between 1 and 2 o'clock this afternoon. So I don't have a whole lot of time to get this done. So we're going to go ahead and start work on it today. Um, so what I'm making today is my potato salad. Um, to go with a ham that I'm cooking later and I'll probably feature that when I get that started as well today But uh, anyway, uh, let's go ahead and get this started and I'll show you what I'm going to do Okay, bring that up a little bit There we go Now in this bowl, I have probably Oh, someplace between, I think it was six and seven um, red potatoes. They were fairly large ones. They were like this big. So they were fairly large potatoes that I put in here. And I diced these and I cooked them yesterday because they do need to refrigerate overnight. Um, and I do prefer the red potatoes because you can see they hold their shape pretty good when you cook them. Okay, so to my potatoes... I'm going to add, this is about nine eggs that I crumbled. Um, you know, I tried to do this in the food processor one time and I wound up with paste, so I've never decided not to do that again. What I did was I just used a um, potato masher and I mashed those eggs. So you can do this any way you want. You could do that with a fork as well. But So we're just going to put those eggs right in there. Now with this recipe, it's, you can pretty much add what you like. If you uh, like things, if you like to have things in your potato salad that you don't see me adding, then by all means go ahead and put that in there if that's what you like. Um, some people like green peppers, some people like uh, green and red peppers, some people like celery, and yeah, you know, it just depends on what you like. And uh, my husband doesn't much like green peppers or celery or anything like that, so I typically don't add it. But I'm also going to add, this is an onion that I minced up very fine. And I'm only going to add maybe two tablespoons at the most here because, now for me, I am not an onion fan. <laughs> and uh, now if you like more onion, you could certainly even add a whole small onion if that's what you wanted. Rinse my hand. Um, it just kind of depends. Um, and I like it minced very, very fine. I don't like it real heavily minced. Okay, and now to that, this is one pound of bacon that I cooked and crumbled. And I'm going to reserve just a little bit of that out to put on the top. Um, I actually hard boiled a dozen eggs, but I saved out a few because I want to use them as a garnish. And I'll show you how I'm going to do that. Okay, and so I have my onion, and I have my bacon, and I have my egg all mixed in here with my potatoes, and I'm going to set this aside for a minute, and we're going to make a dressing to go on this. Let me rinse my hand. Grab a towel. All right. So I have here some mayonnaise that I'm going to add. And I am going to start with about a cup. So I'm going to just put this in my measuring cup. I brought another one out because I'm probably going to have to open another jar. So I brought another one out. I think it's going to take most of this jar and then maybe a little bit. So the measurement on this is not real precise. Um, it kind of depends on how your liking is for the wetness of the salad. Um, I start with about a cup and then I go up from there. If I need to add a little bit more, I will. So I'd say between a cup and a cup and a half of mayonnaise. And let me just set this down for a minute. I'm going to have to open this other one because I think I just used up that jar. Okay. So we're going to open another jar. Okay, and that is just maybe a little more than a cup, but that's okay. We're just going to dump that right into my big measuring cup here, where I'm going to mix up my dressing for the salad. Okay. 
Okay. And I think I am going to add another spoonful or so to that. Just want to make sure that I have it wet enough. Okay, and then to that, let me shake this up. I'm going to add about three tablespoons of mustard. Okay. All right. There we go. That's about three tablespoons right there. And to that, I'm going to add about three tablespoons of sugar as well. Okay, there we go. This, this was a teaspoon, so. Okay, and then to that, I'm going to add about a teaspoon of salt. And a good shaking of pepper. All right. Now let me get a whisk. Let's see, I think I have some over here in this other drawer. Yes, there we go. And I'm just going to whisk this together. See if I okay. I think it needs just a touch more sweetness to that. It's kind of there. Yeah, I think that's probably better. Okay. Okay, that's better. So I am going to bring my potato salad back over and we're just going to pour this dressing right in on top of it. Okay. Right, set that aside for a minute. Okay. Get all this out. I don't want to lose any of this. And now I'm just going to start stirring this together, just kind of folding it in to the potatoes. Okay. I don't think I'm going to have to add any more mayonnaise to that. It doesn't look like I will. Um, if this wasn't, if I thought it was a little too dry, I would just add a, all you do is just add a spoonful of mayonnaise to that and mix that right in. And it'll be fine. But I think that looks like we got that pretty good. So, what I'm going to do now is just smooth this out. Like that. And you can see how nice those red potatoes hold their shape. They do very well. I've had some potatoes where, it, um, potato salads where it just kind of turned into more like a mashed potato salad. And I guess there's nothing wrong with that, but I prefer my potatoes in the, to come out in the little chunks. Okay, so now I've got that done. And what I'm going to do is get a, grab a knife over here. And I have some, I reserved out some of my hard boiled eggs. And I am just going to slice these and just kind of use them as a garnish for the, to make it pretty. So it makes a very pretty potato salad if you want to take it along anywhere. And uh, then again, like I say, it's a very versatile recipe. You can pretty much add whatever you like in it and it will be just fine. you probably get rave reviews on it. I usually do. Um, people seem to really enjoy this when I've taken it 
places and as a piano teacher I always make a big batch whenever I used to have um, my piano parties. Um, a lot of times um, I would have piano parties for my students where they would get together and they would perform and uh, just a very informal one not really like a not formal like a recital but just a party where they come in they pick a song that they like and they can play that particular song or they can play whatever they want really and then we had games it was fun but I usually fed my uh, guests dinner and this um, what I would typically do is go get some barbecue and uh, from one of our local places here and then I would make up this potato salad among some other things and it was always really good okay so there's my eggs cut up that I saved out for the garnish and now I'm just going to sprinkle I saved out some of my bacon chips from my bacon bits and I'm just going to sprinkle some bacon bits over the top of this as well all right okay this is my hand off here and one last thing that I'm going to do I forgot to get it out but I should have already had that out and I didn't is um, I'm going to sprinkle that with a little paprika as I find my paprika. I think that is it. Well, oh well. Hang on a minute. I have lost my paprika. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and I found it. You might know that I would have put it in the wrong cabinet. <laughs> so it wasn't where my spices usually are. I accidentally put it in a different cabinet. I suppose that we have all done absent-minded absent -minded things like that before. So, Okay, so I'm just going to kind of sprinkle a little paprika on this for some extra color. And there we have it. So there is our potato salad. And I'm going to let this chill for about two hours in the refrigerator at least. Well, it's going to be chilling longer than that because, let me turn this back up. Okay, well, when I turned my camera back up, I accidentally hit the button with my finger and turned myself off. So, um, anyway, uh, what I had said during that time that I was accidentally turned off was that um, you want to let this chill for at least two hours before you serve it. Um, it's even better if you make it ahead the day before because um, it the the more it sits in the the longer it sits in the refrigerator the better it tastes because all those flavors that are in there will blend together and it'll give that a really good taste um, the next day so um, so anyway that is done and later on I'll be starting a ham that I um, I will probably do a video on that as well so okay so I'm gonna go ahead and continue getting ready for their visit and um, we will see you later. Thanks for watching.